Hi everyone, I'm Sichin again. Did you notice what is interesting about my hair? When you style or gel your hair, have you observed how it is a bit like making a sculpture? Now, you might ask, what is a sculpture? It is a three-dimensional piece of art that is made by cutting, adding, or removing shapes. Mr. Anthony Poon was one of the pioneer abstract artists in Singapore. He created many artworks, and Global Link 2 is an example of his explorations into different forms of abstraction in sculpture. Let's recall once again, abstract art uses shapes, forms, colours and lines to create an image or a sculptural object. It does not necessarily look like what you see in real life. What shapes can you see in Mr. Poon's work? How would you describe the direction of the lines or shapes in this work? If you answered curvy, wavy, twisting, or turning lines, then you are correct. What materials do you think Mr. Poon used to make his sculpture? It might be difficult to tell unless you come down to the National Gallery Singapore to see it for yourself. It is actually made of painted steel mesh. However, that's not the material that we'll be using for today. Instead, we'll be using everyday materials that you can find in the house to make our own sculpture. Using Mr. Anthony Poon's Global Link 2 as an inspiration for creating twisting and turning lines, I'm going to show you some simple tips to make our own wavy shapes. Let's take a look at the materials that we will need. Firstly, prepare some foam fruit wrappers. Next, get ready some bubble wrap. Look for some clear tape or masking tape. And lastly, prepare a pair of scissors. You could also get ready some string too. Now, let's take a look at the process. Firstly, let's start with the foam fruit wrappers. You can double these up and create sturdy bases for our sculpture. These are the basic shapes which we can work with. Smaller foam fruit wrappers can fit into larger ones to create a stronger base. Next, let's work with some of the foam fruit wrappers to cut them up. Make long thin strips so that we can wrap our sculpture later. Create at least around 10 strips or more if possible. The next part for the bubble wrap is to roll them to strengthen them and tape them together. So there you have long thin strips to create your sculpture. Make a couple of these so that you can twist and turn and make your sculpture. After you have made these bubble wrap strips, the next part is to add our mesh. This will be done using the foam fruit wrappers. Wrap around it at a 45 degree angle and use some tape to secure the front and the back. You can combine the bubble wrap strips that you have made into one long strip. So when you have done your foam fruit wrapper mesh, Look for areas which you might need to repair and add tape if needed. So think about how you might want to start the twisting and turning. You can use some tape or string to secure your sculpture as it starts to build up. You can increase the strength of the base by adding more loops to it. Thereafter, you can use these to start your sculpture. Alternatively, you can consider how you can add to the previous shapes that you have made. Think about how you might redistribute some of the weight so that your sculpture can stand balanced. You could consider making a mobile. A mobile is a type of sculpture that is formed of different parts that are hung in the air and move in response to wind or motor power. You can cut some string and attach it to your sculpture.
Thereafter, you can attach it to a hook and hang your sculpture up. If you have sufficient foam fruit wrappers, you might want to consider another way of making your sculptures. You can fold the foam fruit wrappers in half and extend the sculpture bit by bit. So, be creative. Explore and experiment with different ways of using the materials that you have. So, what shapes have you created? Remember to share it with your friends and family. And lastly, when you get the chance to, come down to the National Gallery Singapore to check out Mr. Anthony Poon's Global Link 2.